first important thing which I did, I start working day in, day out in bar, in my village. Mm. I go to 6 o'clock, start working there, hard work, sweat, get appetite, get good sleep and get cure. Under the every subject, if you study detail, you are the masterpiece in medicine. Brain was engaged. How mm. to reduce that death? Because we are seeing a death. Mm. Young boy coming and died. Young woman is coming and died. Young person is dying of fruit and ma- massive pulmonary edema. How the medical man or, like me will stop? Mm. My father died on the same day. I did not attend the funeral because this, there was no other doctors mm. to this child. Yeah. And the, the father has given a son, his son to donate. Mm. Donate it to my yeah. research. In my hospital there is no stop. Mm. Dr. Bhavaskar and Mrs. Bhavaskar. Mm. Because the distance between the patient and doctor increases, this science and research disappears. The government or nation has not utilized my knowledge, my mind, my research and my applications. Giving Padma Sri has no value. Mm. What you? Utilize Padma Sri. Mm. Get use of Padma Sri to the Bharat. Mm. Giving Padma Sri to me is useless. Rather than, rather than filling the bank books, they should fill their academic books. Mm. They, should, they should reach an academic currency rather than economic currency. I am mm. richest in academic currency today in India. Mm. You see, you don't require any fancy medication or a lot of infrastructure or a lot of funding to do any sort of research. This point has been very well proven by our today's guest. This man is from a small town called Mahad, which is situated in the interiors of the Konkan region of Maharashtra. Even though he hails from such a small place. He is a world-renowned researcher and has multiple publications all throughout the international journals. Journals like The Lancet, British Medical Journal and New England Journal of Medicine are supposed to be the apex journal once it comes to publication, each having impact factor more than 100 to 200. This man hailing from such a small town has multiple publications in such journals. This man is responsible for finding a treatment, a cure to something which has saved not thousands but tens of thousands of lives in these interior parts of Maharashtra. Yes, this man has invented the treatment for scorpion bite. All these years of tremendous effort has brought this personality recognition not only in the state or the country but all over the world. With all his leading research, this man was awarded Padma Shri in the last year, that is 2022. So without wasting much time, I bring to you today's guest, Dr. Himmat Rao Bhavaskar, sir. This man is known purely for his research work and this is what I want everybody to learn from him. His thought process, his approach has been phenomenal and you will yourself realize the conversation that we had will really open up your eyes. If you're enjoying such content, and you're learning from such tall words in the field of medicine, please make sure that such videos go to the masses. Please share with your peers. I hope you learn something new from this conversation and be inspired from this great personality. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. First of all, thanks a lot for accepting this invitation and having to speak with you is like a pleasure indeed. There are many things that everybody wants to know from you, but this talk mainly focuses not primarily on what all things you have invented to make a huge deal, a huge change in the society, but your mindset behind what were you thinking, why things led to you as a researcher and how you have developed over a period of time, sir. Yes. So, first of all, sir, just to know you much better, I want to know who is Himmatra Bhavaskar beyond being a doctor outside your hospital? Yes, now she is, uh, I born in a very poor illiterate farmer's family. Mm-hmm. There was no background of education or literacy or any research to me. Only my elder son, elder brother was doing a education and he was become BSc. Mm-hmm. Now, I just passed, uh, I, uh, now there was no childhood to me. I worked day in, day out for the, some, uh, somebody's house to, to uh, yeah, meet the both end of the end of the days. Mm-hmm. And ultimately, education was not included in my mind. But my brother says we must take the education. And for that purpose, I stayed in a four, four years in a temple to continue the education. Mm-hmm. Then I gone to Naga, 
come go where I got highest mark in BSc part one, then I entered in MBBS. Mm -hmm. So I did my MBBS in the Nagpur. And the best uh, the MBBS, you see, research started in the mind. Mm. Research is never taught in the classroom. Right. Research is never taught in the room, uh, not uh, not in the environment of society. Mm. Research culture is uh, culture is uh, per perpetuated uh, per nurture in the family right. itself. So then, uh, then because of uh, when we saw, uh, when we joined the uh, joined the MBBS course at Nagpur, mm -hmm. our uh, our most important teacher was uh, uh, K D Sharma, who was a pathologist, known pathologist, mm -hmm. whose name has entered in the boys' pathology. Yes, yes. Now he he he, uh, he was transferred from uh, Aurangabad to Nagpur, mm -hmm. and his first lecture, every tutorial professor was attending. Mm. So we were all students were shocked how these people are coming, and his first sentence was, "Pathology is the mother of medical science." Mm. Which has poor, uh, pierced in my mind, and I decided to mug up the bulge pathology. <laughs> I took uh, one day, one year drops for pathology. Mm. Because the result of that, we see, we see what happens later on. Because of pathology, I could easily understand the pathophysiology research and easily understand what is happening, where the problem which, is, which came across. Mm. The simplest example I am giving you my external teacher of pathology, when he came to me, he has shown me the blood film slide mm -hmm. and he asked me, my dear, sir, my dear student, tell me it is a male or female blood. Mm. I say it is a female blood because X is deposited in form of bar bodies. Bar so bodies. that is learned because of pathology. Yeah. And that's why after completion of MBBS, then we, we took decision. You see, Nagpur is a complete one isolated place. Right. Bombay is, Bombay is a part and parcel of the world. Mm. It is a part and parcel of the world. Mm. Nagpur is a part and parcel of India. Mm. So we want part and parcel of the world contact. So that's why my brother said we should be around the Bombay. Mm. You know, because his professor said he is a very research oriented. So ultimately we took uh, we took a position, a medical officer posting at PSC Birwadi. Right. My brother accompanied with me mm. at the PSC Birwadi. While leaving me at Birwadi, mm. he said to me that I gave you an education of MBBS level. But I don't expect you should stay in the big car mm. or you stay in the big bungalows. Mm. I expect that Bhavaskar name should be entered in the textbook of medicine. Mm. And that is happened only by research. So, true. so as you said that this inquisitive mind, the the nature of asking why, why yes, correct. was there since the beginning, sir? Since the beginning, since the, since the beginning. It okay. was since the beginning. Why this is happening? Mm. Why? This? Because you see, there were many problems. Mm. One thing, what is say, poverty taught you everything. Mm. to answer the why and to ask the why. Mm. You see, there are many GIs mm. who never know how to cry. Yeah. There are many child today in India, they mm. don't know how to, how to, how, what to experience the hunger. Mm. And there are many people who cannot complete the hunger. hunger. There are many persons who cannot stop their cry. Mm. This is India. Uh, I've, I've been reading a lot about you, sir. Your MBBS days were hard, is what I know. Oh, yes, yes. You had a very bad time in your second <laughs> yes, 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 yes. year. There were some downfalls, but you came over it, sir. I want to know what happened in your mind, why things went against you, and what were you thinking, and how did you get yes, back yes, to track? Yes, so, what happens, you know, when my uh, my father took me to register my name in the post standard in the Buldana. So, I am a son of farmers, mm. you know. Now, the headmaster never asked the caste. Hmm. The headmaster writes, because he is the son of farmer, we should write his caste as Kunbi, so he will get a chance of reservation. So this, this happened, started here only. Hmm. When I gone for MBBS, in second MBBS there is less work to a doctor. Right. So that time I was thinking, I am a Maratha and my, my admission is a Kunbi, so this will, I may, my, my admission may be cancelled. Hmm. So this has raised the delusion in my mind. Mm. Continuous delusion and threat in the mind, mm. and this is the, you see, you see the brain is a bag of, brain is a bag, uh, this is a bag of, uh, bag of chemicals, mm. it in which neurons are floating, right, and chemicals are transmitting their message. Mm. So this mismanagement of the message result into ma uh, mind disorganizations, mm. and mind disorganization result in various signs and symptoms, mm. and uh, depression, anxiety, schizophrenia. These are because of molecular disease or chemical disease. Right. These are the chemical diseases. <laughs> so ultimately what happened, because of that I got some abnormal delusion thoughts. Mm. So my memory loss. Mm. I cannot even go to the college. Mm. So I, saw, I was thinking to commit suicide. So oh. ultimately 
ultimately I, my brother has come to mama come to uh, nagpur and he said we we'll stop the education for one year then we we take the we, we take the treatment of psychiatrist dr nj sauji still he is there last mm. week i met him mm. in the nj sauji was daily he was the first md psychiatrist from mumbai mm. then he has given me all sort of that is tripler escadin pacidin largatil these were the three drugs available that time mm. largatil escadin pacidin nothing else <laughs> because uh, now the psychiatrist are wrong yeah. psychiatrist treats on molecules now yeah. very high molecules are so ultimately he was uh, he treated me for 6 months and so uh, there was no result i was just deteriorating so ultimately he has given me decided to give him uh, 10 sitting of electroconvulsive therapy mm. so he has given me 10 sitting of electroconvulsive therapy but there was not too much improvement mm. so ultimately my mother took me to the then she took me various places and i stayed in the what the first important thing which i did i start working day and day out in bar in my village mm. go to 6 o'clock start working there hard work sweat get appetite get good sleep and get cure <laughs> so this is ultimately that happened this mm. was the biggest stigma in my mind that that happened since that time i i, I felt because of the society doesn't help mm. society deteriorates very fast and this 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 is happening only in nagpur area with our villages here in if i would have been around bombay i would have been cured earlier okay because nobody bothers about you they are, mm. they they are never bothers about what underneath you they mm. bother how you are today Very so true. that is what different between two and mm. that's why this is a real educated and culture environment mm. which have, which have, which has improved me now mm. okay yeah so this just this just sets an example because there are so many students coming from vernacular medium so from so true. many okay. tier 2 tier 3 okay. cities okay. Okay. and they try to come into the city yeah. and they get into that delusional yeah. thing yeah. 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 but the way that you said you said the busier you are the yeah, better yeah, you correct. are the yeah. faster you get treated <laughs> yes correct and that is exactly yeah. what and ultimately the time yeah they should wait for time solution that is important you yeah. see life is super most there is nothing that you, you should be a doctor is not essential to survive in the life <laughs> huh? it is very there good. are many other uh, many other professional which are better than our medical professions mm. <laughs> are more respected than medical profession as as we read a lot of books there are many few people who have that guts to go against the flow yes yes who have the guts to swim against the stream and these are the people who bring about actual changes in the society and what all of us feel that you are one amongst them sir what do you think in very early days you have done something unconventional which has brought you to this state right now no you see the problem is that what happened when i joined the primary health centers mm. number 1 6 is my mother said my mother said that psc the people are poor and psc is for the farmers mm. please never charge anybody mm. do the service day in day out and they are our colleagues right. and which makes me that i was working round the clock at psc mm. non corrupt mm. not a single papai was earned after the after 17 years service only 3000 was in my bank so this <laughs> makes me i got a ample of time mm. that because karam if you start earning money you don't have time at all so true so here was more time so more time than i, I was, the one thing is i was voracious readers mm. and what i am feeling when i start reading book i was to have, my idea was i should know each and everything mm. of the book so that's why anatomy physiology then medicine books all journals i am reading regularly so ultimately there we found a problems mm. because the ultimately problem never wait for you you, uh, you should see the problem yeah, because so. problem is there he is mm. not waiting for anybody else those who ca- came and see and they, they tried the problem they will get the fruit right. so ultimately the when i joined the primary health center birwadi is uh, our compulsion of 16 years died due to scorpion sting 10 days before i joined the psc mm. so the all the staff told me this is be aware of scorpion mm. so i was never nobody has taught me during mbbs level mm. no textbook has mentioned the scorpion can kill a victim mm. no reference was available at all so ultimately i decided to do a verbal autopsy of that uh, that was child who died of scorpion sting so the father said child has scorpion sting in midnight Mm. he had a severe pain later it become mild mm. he become cold he has vomiting sweating hypotension persistent tachycardia froth pulmonary edema or and they, they used to because he was a compounder the doctor tried a lot of medicine lasix lenoxin amanofilin irrespective of all these decongestive treatment p 
patient take cardiac procedure mm. and early in the morning he has a froth and died of mesocardial myeloma mm. so what does it means patient has a refractory heart failure okay. so i have decided to study all the patient mm. so one 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 six month i studied 17 to 18 patient in detail how the cardiac cardiac procedure how the bp come out how then sometimes so you because you see brain was engaged how mm. to reduce that death because we are seeing a death mm. young boy coming and died young woman is coming and died young person is dying of froth and massive pulmonary edema how the medical man like me will stop mm. how i get a sound sleep uh, we are experiencing this death so day in day on my my mind was full how how to how to get rid of pulmonary edema mm. i used to ring up to bombay pune all doctors all professors everybody but there was there was no response at all this is no yes we are able we cannot treat mm. so ultimately we should wait for yes we mm-hmm. baba amte never wait for the dds never yes yeah. clean the wound and yes yes improve the dds in leprosy patient in waited for the, not waiting for the dds to come right. so similar thing what happened now i was in in my mind in pharm- you see if you study detail each and subject under where you subject if you study detail you are the master piece in medicine yeah so true Yeah, this is your masterpiece Ag- in medicine. Agreed. So then we say there is a phlebotomy. Mm. So morphine was not available. That is chemical phlebotomy. So we re- applied a tourniquet, BP apparatus tourniquet. Mm. Mm. And Amora, who is three to four out of seventeen, three to four patients survive. Okay. To reduce the preload. Mm. After load we cannot do that. Do this is a preload. Mm. So this is a tourniquet which I sell. That is phlebotomy as help for victims. Mm. And then later on, 1952. Brunward has described phlebotomy to treat the congestive cardiac failure when there was no Lennox in Lassig available. Mm. Only mercury diuretics was available. I mm. got a reference of Brunward. So ultimately, this is not the solution. So mm. that cases were completed, written, written, and that later published in the Lancet in 1978. Mm. Then I request to the government and KD Sharma that I want to become post-graduation. Mm. Because undergraduate knowledge was not enough. Right. It is not enough at all. Mm. So ultimately, they have given me post at BJ Medical College. and the bj medical college my teacher was very good madam duty she worked hard for me mm. i said madam after md i will go to polakpur i will go to kokan to mm. solve this problem mm. i arranged seminar where where uh, uh, hiramat was there rs wadia was there many big shot pe mrudala phadke was there mm. but they could not give the solution mm. rs wadia was just clapping and saying bhavaskar you go again kokan track and solve your problem is yourself mm. so ultimately this this is going on and that i was still discouraging how to treat the patient if the pa- four years boy was died in bj medical college from mm. lonola so again i was discouraged how to do so ultimately i came to know this is a resistant heart failure so study in detail resistant heart failure mm. and there was big paper in nagm of prasosin mm. and for them they say sodium nitroprusside is a gold standard right so on this this duty madam then she took me in keen interest mm. he explained the details how how to treat how to examine the patient detail detail examination how to present the case and ultimately then i decided we will apply sodium nitroprusside mm. so sodium nitroprusside come uh, we, we i pass md in first attempt mm. then next day i come to palakpur <laughs> <laughs> and after eight days eight years old boy has come from Sa- nandvi village mm. of the mesh of uh, scorpion sting I got four amperes of sodium nitroprusside. <laughs> so patients has a tachycardia, pulmonary edema. BP was seventy. Mm. Where the sodium nitroprusside is should, contraindicated, should not be given. Should not be given. <laughs> so I applied because I was damn sure mm. it is a vaso constriction. Mm. It's an increase of total load. Mm. We are not treating as anti-hypertension. We are treating to reduce the load. load. Mm. We are treating this as a to reduce the load, mm. pre-load and after load. So we applied sodium nitroprusside because the father said, "You let us try." Mm. he has given his son to donate to son donate to my research and ultimately after so i six out child and survived and i started dancing and 130 patients of sodium nitroprusside survived in that one month for this was not the solution mm. my father died on the same day i did not attend the funeral because this, there was no other doctors mm. to this child yeah. and the the father has given a son his son to donate mm. donate to my research so ultimately this was not the uh, not the way to treat my medical officer as a refractory heart failure mm. so i again gone to kim hospital library and then prasus in the article was there mm. and the uh, genium then prasus and there was one certain prasus in is oral sonide mm. so i what is prasus in alpha blocker post sinate alpha blocker now the prasus in not a simple death mm. 
is a phosphodiester stage inhibitor. Right. You see sodium channel activator caused by the scorpion venom, result in autonomic storm. After all, preload, tachycardia, various arrhythmias. Mm. Alpha receptor stimulation is important in right. this. Now, post synaptic alpha blocker, phosphor mm. dye stage is increased, mm. cyclic GMP is increased. In case of autonomic storm, because of efflux of potassium after from liver, mm. hyperkalemia, mm. I think as glucose levels, hyperglycemia, mm. and very important because of alpha receptor stimulation, insulin is. Suppress. Mm. So glucose is raised, potassium raised, but there is no insulin. Mm. So what process in the phosphodiester state is increased cyclic GMP in addition to preload and after reduction because it's alpha property. Mm. Because of increased cyclic GMP, mm. it improves the insulin secretions. Right. And improve insulin secretion, take out the glucose and potassium inside the cell. Mm. So GIK drip and salvage the heart. And that's a mortality of suddenly drop to 4%. Mm. It was hawa in the world. Mm. Peru, Trinidad, Mexico, Saudi Arabia, and Brazil mm. I received many good letters from them. Mm. They have started using prazosin, death was reduced. That was a mm. great achievement. Then prazosin, then antivenom has come. Mm. Then we did a trial of antivenom. Mm. Prazosin plus antivenom versus antivenom. Mm. So we found that prazosin plus antivenom recovery in 6 hours. Mm. With the prazosin more than 72 hours. Mm. So now the problem is almost so. Almost, almost that. Uh, so we produce RCD. And this RCT is published in the BMJ mm. with the cover illustration of Scorpion. Mm. Underneath there is a tutorial and my article is there. So this is a this is a super yeah, this is yeah, yeah. this, this is, is two hundred years old journal, mm. weekly yeah. British medical journal. So mm. this is another achievement which you do. You finished your MBBS in late nineteen seventies. Oh, right, right, right. Before you could do MD, you had one publication in London. Right, right, right. Correct, correct, correct. So you wanted to increase your research work and so you did you did your MD and then you did your further two research works in the right, Netherlands. Right, right. But if you think, did you ever think in such a way that had I not gone back to the rural areas, you wouldn't take scorpion that seriously? No, that would not because no, it was my mind was packed. Mm. I want to devote my life for the these deaths which are occurring unnatural death. Right. So, irrespective of government would have not paid me, mm. still I would have gone to profile, to, to work hard. Mm. That is important. This is the most important point because mm. mortality was very high. Right. Yes, that's right. right. See, every research work requires an excellent documentation. Yes. And uh, in the past books that you have written, in the articles that I have read, you have mentioned that you have documents of scorpion sting even back in 1980s. Yes, yes, yes. How do you think, is it, like what are your tricks or how, how easy it is for you to maintain that document so well that you can reproduce it so that you can write a research work? No, no, the problem is that you see, Whatever you see, there are many other people in my in Maharashtra. They are working, hmm. but they are not documenting. Exactly. They say they have, they have treated hundred scorpion, useless. Exactly. They have treated one thousand snake bite, useless. Hmm. You treat one and publish it, hmm. treating one thousand with, with, with the same complication, hmm. treating one patient with the same complication is equal to ten thousand patients. Hmm. So the, yeah. the, this is a fact. Yeah. So what what happened? Now you might have we in my hospital there is no staff. Hmm. Dr. Bhavaskar and Mrs. Bhavaskar, mm. because the distance between the patient and doctor increases, this sign and research disappears. Mm. <laughs> you understood? Yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah. So, what you see, we see, sit together, we see the patient, we document, we are underwriting, and we keep that paper very nicely. Problem is that, one thing is that, we don't want bazaar in OPD. Mm. We restrict ourselves. Mm. That is important. We can treat this much patient only, mm. but outcome. Yeah, well, we feel when the patient has come into bed, how he can be fit in the literature. Right. Each and every patient we want to fit in the literature. Mm. Then such patient should come to me, not the bazaar. Right. Right. So, but uh, just stressing on the point that you just maintained, if you have an extra team, if you have an extra workforce, don't you feel that making such, making increasing the number of research works would be easier for you? No, this will research, because you say research minded, we don't get many research minded which we want. Mm. That is important, mm. because many people, you see, there are many research societies, mm. they are doing meta-analysis, not the research. Right, they are just taking oh. up stuff. Ah, meta-analysis, that is not yeah. research. But original research is done by individuals. Mm. If the Newton's friends is there, Newton would have forgotten. <laughs> Archimedes' wife who is existing, Archimedes would have not for, would have forgotten the flow. This is important. <laughs> so it is individual idea. Individual, you see, individual research is original research. Mm. Multiple multi-personal research is a meta-analysis. Mm. 
Mm. So true. So, uh, everybody knows about your excellent work in scorpion sting, but you have done so many other yes, research yes, works yes, as well. Yes. Hmm. Just to name a few about your dental fluorosis, yes. about uh, your dementia, Alzheimer's, okay. uh, about your vitamin B12 deficiencies. Hypothyroidism. How hypothyroidism? Oh, yeah. So how one single person of a very generally holistic view can have research work in so many different varied but fields. No, a problem, so many patients are coming. Now the issue is scorpion patient is not coming to me. Huh. We treated perfect doctor. That's like you have solved this That's issue. problem. <laughs> now the snake bites were there. Huh? Snake bites were very important, snake bite solution was there. Hmm. Only I decided, if Russell Viper coming, give 25, there will be no renal failure. Hmm. We train the doctor, we've seen the doctor, clinical slide. So many doctors are trained, lectures are given. Hmm. Most important we chose was the crate. Right. Crate is a crate is the most mature terrorist and silence killer. True. Is it called? Silent killer. Because crate is a nocturnal. Mm. His fangs are very sharp like insulin needle. Mm. It bites to a person who sleeps on the ground floor mm. in the midnight. Mm. And uh, yeah, yeah. Though no local sign at all, no local symptom at all. Mm. So patient is not aware of bite. It may rat bite, ant bite, no bite at all. Mm. And he woke up with a pain in abdomen mm. from floor bed, vomiting and descending paralysis, blurring of vision, myasthenic look, that I diagnosed. If the farmer or healthy person previously mm. night was doing work in the farm, sleep sleep healthy, he had a, he had a food, sleep healthy on the floor bed in the midnight or early in the darkness, woke up from the floor bed with a pain in abdomen, mm. with a toxic, diagnosed, great bite, unless until protocol. Mm. This we st studied this and then we studied. You see, now this I am telling you is a very difficult uh, mm. subject which we have studied later on. Now the rabies, you know rabies, mm. rabies has no treatment. Right. Patient has certified to the death, no problem. So we found how the death are now is related to crate bite. Now the crate, crate, crate venom is a beta bundle toxin. Mm. It is a beta bundle toxin. It's a presynaptic destructor, presynaptic blocker. That's why respiration requires more time. Delayed recovery is required in the crate bite because it destroys the receptor. Right. Why the cobra bite post-synaptic reverse bite? It doesn't destroy. So it reverses easily. Mm. Now this beta bundle toxin, which is well more dangerous. For the, uh, for the uh, crate bite. Now in the rabies, the bullet set virus, outer must come set is a glycoprotein. Mm. And the glycoprotein is a uh, glycoprotein structures, chemical structure exactly similar to beta bundle toxin of the crate. Okay. Ha, you know, this published. Okay. Then you see when the when it enters in the brain, brain cell, because of uh, because of glycoprotein is downgrade the apoptosis. Oh. Because of downgrade of apoptosis. There is increased more time for the virus to grow in the cell mm. and mature. And after the release of cell, mature virus infect the surrounding cell. You understood this? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. When we give a beta bundle toxin, similar, mm. it is a molecular mimicry. Mm. This beta bundle toxin covers the glycoprotein of the virus right. and upgrade mm. the apoptosis. Mm. By upgrading apoptosis, the virus will not be matured not, yeah. and it will release with image which is unable to infect the surrounding mm. it will be the treatment of rabies okay. this application so you have hypothetically created a treatment for a, uh, yes, for, for a disease which is not yet been not cured right now this is wow okay. this, is, this is a great great white yeah. <laughs> so, so even then the, we get uh, then we talk about the molecular this is biomolecular of the dementia mm. so you know, what happens one day Yes, daughter, uh, daughter-in-law has come with a father-in-law that uh, I think the father-in-law has come for treatment. Mm. But she said, no, he has kept, uh, he has whole life, he has prepared EFD and where he has kept, he has forgotten. <laughs> so it was, uh, it was uh, Alzheimer's disease, dementia. So I take the history, mother, yeah. mother had dementia. Yeah. His brother is dementing, his mm. sister is also dementing. So it's a familial dementia. Mm. So ultimately, dementia is the most dangerous disease. Mm. Which is age old, uh, age old disease, not, not true. It can occur in any age. Right. Now this disease, how is occur? How the memory is born? Acetylcholine in the hippocampus, mm. and frontotemporal anchor. Mm. Now acetylcholine synthesized by choline esterase. Mm. And choline esterase is disturbed by anticholine esterase. Mm. So this is a cycle which goes in the brain. So I want to know, because you see, dementia in India diagnosed Alzheimer, when there is a total necrosis of the hippocampus on MRI, yeah. but non-treatable disease, where mm. total loss of the brain, necrosis of hippocampus. Mm. So, what can we do before, before developing of this necrosis, early stage? So, I want to know anticholinesterase level. Mm. So, in CNS, anticholinesterase cannot Not be done. Possible. So, we discuss in all laboratories in India. So, they say the RBC cholinesterase can be done. Mm. So, then I studied RBC cholinesterase is equivalent to the cholinesterase of CNS.
just your recent example sir in this the second wave of corona yes sir what things you have implemented your research behind mmr vaccine bcg <laughs> vaccine <laughs> yeah, correct, correct, right, right, <laughs> application of betadine in your knees yes yeah, correct so these are things a normal person cannot think of not at all and, not at all <laughs> and you have what what i feel uh, what you think is pathology is your favorite but what i feel is your physiology is so strong that's why the undergraduate subject is the subject is the master subjects right you are master piece right yes. and this this you can think like this only when you are you see basics are so clear. during that period we used no doubt about, about that prevention now mm. nasal drop was published and uh, the rb patient of corona positive one relative all relatives given free free betadine mm. what else and they put a bottle so 500 patient prevented mm. my sister next important we use metformin mm. met for me now research has published <laughs> the met for me inhibit the corona virus in yeah. because we use that time met for me met for the versatile drug you know mm. it anti inflammatory anti oncogenic anti uh, anti uh, this hypoglycemic drug and second important is anti corona drug mm. met for me this is a versatile drug mm. then we use aspirin then we uh, we use methylene blue okay this is, this is so many things to take in at once yeah. that, and the, then you excellent. say this is this uh, lancet has published mm. you see the uh, oh, tra- yeah. uh, tribal communities for tribal. so they are given a b- wide lips mask uh-huh. Uh-huh. this is i saw i advise them it's published on the lancet front page front page excellent <laughs> right so like you have this such keen interest in research do you think people around you do you, do you know anybody else who who does something like this this is some, what you call it as original work Do you know anybody who is doing like this? Now original work, uh, I think contribution of the Lancet is very few mm. because there is you see mm. and they forget, they change the track, mm. the track should not be changed. Mm. Now the problem is that you know, the people who are working in tribal communities, I feel they are taking extra advantage mm. of the tribal communities, some of them understood, rather than going better in their lifespan. Mm-hmm. So that is very very important. Mm. Now, important thing is uh, there are many why there is no treatment for sickle cell disease years together we are facing sickle cell disease mm. many ngos are working in the tribal why there is no uh, remedy for sickle cell disease is my and for you I would, i would have work on tribal community i would have come with a solution i'm damn sure mm. because you say there may be some people in the tribal community might be using herbal remedies we survive for more than 90 years mm. so that we have to analyze Right. nobody is interested right so that is important thing so 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 coming so uh, continuing my last question do you feel that this spark of research is gradually dying off uh, yes it is the already dead it has reached to the funeral it is reached to the graveyard <laughs> ha huh, already okay. reached to the graveyard okay. you see the, the day on which clinical medicine is reached to the graveyard the clinical the ideas the percolating ideas new innovation ideas are lost mm. book never teach you new ideas Mm. book what book teach you what okay, another has that. thought yeah. they never teach you new ideas mm. when you go to the patient the patient teach you what are the ideas right. what is suffering not the book at But all there has to be some reason for this right sir because see uh, you have been to west so many times you've you worked in london you've oh, worked in okay. states i have been myself worked in london for oh. quite some time what we see is that clinical research is a separate department clinical work like practitioner is separate department Correct. and equal importance is given to both of them definitely research work there is a lot of funding given in okay. there is lot of time lot Correct. of resources Correct. given Correct. which is not happening in our no, no. and they are more encouraged exactly ah, yes. exactly so what do you feel are the major barriers the major barriers are politicians number 1 hmm. number 2 things is we doctor ourselves not taking interest right not uh, nobody is encouraging me hmm. you see nobody has sent me congratulation for this hmm. no nobody has sent me comments for the uh, cover illustration mm. ha this is a bauskar ka kaam hai wo karte rahega research karna uska hi kaam hai that is very bad mm. you see mm. what why what i think some you see uh, leukemia search out myocardial infarct bruno wade search mm. out now these people search out many ideas that's how we could able to save our colleagues right. our relative our friends mm. what is the repayment to these people <laughs> <laughs> repayment is to do a research add research. something mm. to them that is repayment tala mantat khallela mithala jagne okay yeah. but again see coming you say that we doctors as you very first pointed out that the more money you earn the more busier you get you are right 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 and okay. more, so, more more intelligence is lost to arrange the money yeah, yeah, yeah. yes so okay. because why don't i don't have trust 
why don't you trust i don't have foundation because there is so many queries mm. many problems many many question to be answer mm. pro- pro- proper uh, record and very nice arrangement and uh, various uh, various uh, methods way mm. and by this time our ideas intelligence is lost mm. the use here for research your brain should be free work there is no obstruction from my family right my missus say since spend any amount you want mm. my son always keep 10 lakhs in my in my saving book of the research always mm. incomplete work bhar dega wo mm. udhar se yes <laughs> continue the work that is important mm. and that is a research is encouraged by them it not a individual it's not contribution is a contribution of the family right 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 so well said sir uh so but what i feel is that this spark which you still have you are 73 right it's not 3 yes 73 yeah. so at the age of 73 that spark is still so lit up yeah. and what i feel is that there should be other people who might not be exposed to research at this level yeah. in order to spread your mindset what do you think is the most appropriate thing to do M- most appropriate thing is madam you see there now the what i feel the worst of my life is that the government or nation has not utilized my knowledge my mind my research and my applications mm. it is a duty of a government mm. i cannot i cannot go without petrol to the anybody house mm. and deliver the lecture you know mm. it is a duty of a government mm. huh? giving padma shri has no value mm. what you utilize padma shri mm. get use of padma shri to the bharat mm. giving padma shri to me as useless mm. <laughs> what is it am i right or no yeah. yes padma shri should be utilized had it been somebody else ah, yes. padma shri was something apex that i got <laughs> no, no, no. but what what i read from you is padma shri is just the beginning and you feel that what is gone is gone 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 yes no no <laughs> no no this is new new this is gone forget i know i am this bother i am this bother about that yes. no but what what according to you would be the right way to spark this light in the youth would that you feel? no you no problem is that you see now the first mbbs i should deliver lecture to second mbbs to that mm. person so where the where the the brain is immature right where the brain is just entering in the entering the ocean mm. so i should know how to swim in the ocean and reach to the other corner of the world mm. and that is the way second mbbs not mm. in final mbbs md like you all by all all are red as useless Mm. see that is second in your student should be and they should be now big 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 chapters are written in neurology journal neurology textbook of neurology mm. so then what is stopping it sir you should do it right Anna? like uh, is it something from the medical institute point of view or the government point of view who is not allowing you to do it or they are not promoting you they no they from no they should invite me mm. that now you see should i say my article has come in lancet mm. are they blind are the institutes are blind mm. huh they this is in factor of 200 plus so <laughs> they shouldn't be yes, anyways great sir so coming to a last few uh, questions if you would rewind back 50 years of your life what, what? Dif- if you re- if you would rewind back 50 years of your life oh, yes. what different thing would you be done as today and uh, no, you see today's uh, today's life is good but tasteless hmm today's life is good environment is good hmm. facilities are good very life but it is tasteless mm. whatever I, i was writing in a paper by slide by my by my this uh, by my pain was the best rather than this you see this is 1976 this is 1976 typewriter this is a projector 35 ms slide and this is a lancet see this is like this okay this is a pre pre digital era pre digital era is my era was tasteful mm. because what your type very nice we got the exercise physical exercise everything was there mm. you know and we were interested more and now this is a digital era <laughs> <laughs> this is a digital era ha huh? <laughs> <laughs> so very, very well put huh? <laughs> very well produced na <laughs> right sir okay so just just to end the talk sir yes. what life advice would you give to the new coming up doctors new coming doctor they should uh, they, they should write something they should uh, they should publish something mm. and, and uh, rather than rather than filling the bank books they should fill their academic books mm. 
Mm. They, have, they should reach an academic currency rather than economic currency. I am mm. richest in academic currency today in India. Mm. So what is academic currency? This is called academic currency. Mm. And this you see, if you want to earn the money, there are other business, not to be a doctor. Mm. If you want to something because medical profession, no way, you can, you can uh, relieve the sorrow. Mm. You can relieve the disease. You can improve the life. You can prolong the life. That is very important. And you can make India as a healthy India. Okay. Thank you so thank much, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, you so much for spending such yes. wonderful time. I know this talk will be beneficial for all of the, uh, every single person who, who watches this. And uh, this, this spark of research stays up. And uh, thank you so much, sir, again. Thank you, thank you. No problem. Okay.